Hello Maurice, how are you? My name is Tamiris. Welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I am in a different place. I am in my parents' house in Brazil and I got a bunch of Brazilian makeup. So let's try them together. I have this huge box with Brazilian makeup and skincare. So I'm gonna show you everything that I got. So the first product is a hair care product and it's really neat because it's one mask that you can use in the three stages of your hair care routine. There's nourishment, there's moisturizing and reconstruction. So that's really nice. I wanna try this and see how my hair likes it, if it's good or not. And I'll let you guys know what I think about this product. Now all the products is gonna be from Nina Skin. So it's skincare products. This one is the overnight repair cream has technology skin secrets with uh, niacinamide and glycolic acid the packaging is really pretty it's pink feels very luxurious the whole nina secrets products are in this pink and gold very fancy and this is the cream and it's very very thick I don't know if you can see. The next product that I got is a sorbet, a firmer facial sorbet. It has niacinamide, uh, pentanol. Here is the packaging. This package here was acrylic. This one is more like plastic. It's not, doesn't look as fancy. And this is the product. It looks like that. It's very jelly-like texture. I got a serum it's called Hydrogel Nourishing. It has vitamin B5 and hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. The packaging is like this. This is acrylic, looks a little bit more fancy. I love how different this is and it's pink. Let's see the texture. It is like a gel serum texture. Next, I got a exfoliant mask and with enzymes. This has niacinamide. There is white clay, coconut skin, and enzymes of pineapple. This packaging is like this, doesn't come in a box. It's more like a squeezing tube plastic. It's okay, it's not super fancy, but it's not like very cheap. I love exfoliant masks, so I decided to buy this one to try. Next, I have another serum. This one is new, is the Firming Lifting Serum. It has peptides in active blends tensors says it gives a lifting effect, recover the skin elasticity, and improve the aspects of fine lines. The packaging is like this, it's basically like a serum in the US, but the package itself is plastic instead of glass. A lot of US brands have glass for the packaging. And let's see the texture. If I can open. Okay, I cannot open, so we're not gonna see the texture. <laughs> I will need to ask my husband to open this because this is very tight. Next product, I already have this, is a sunscreen I have been using for a while. Mine is almost over and I really like it. It's very, like, feels dry on the skin and it mattifies the skin a little bit. It's not greasy doesn't leave a white cast so i decided to repurchase especially because it's super cheap for me to buy things in brazil right now because the current difference is like one for six so this was like five dollars maybe so i decided to purchase again next product is also repeat it's a cleaning gel for your face it has Salicylic acid BHA and cucumber extract and niacinamide. 
I like this. I use every day in the shower when I'm washing my face. So I decided to get a bigger size. All right, guys, that was all skincare, hair care. Now let's go to the nice and cool part, the makeup. I didn't buy any foundation, but I do have the foundation from this line, but I left in the US. So I'm just gonna do a simple base here. You know what I've been doing lately is just use my shape tape from Tarte in some areas here of my face. And I kind of spread all around and then don't use a lot of foundation. Look how this just evens my skin tone. Sometimes when I want a little bit more coverage, I do a little bit of the Maybelline Skin Tint or the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. But today I'm just gonna leave it like this. So I got two face palettes. They have different shades and I'm just gonna do my blush, contour and highlight with them. So this is the Luminous Palette 1 and these are the shades you can use in your face or on your eyes. So we have two blush, very blushy colors, but this one you can also use as a blush and we have a very glitter highlight shade and this is the luminous true palette and this is way more dark in person than it was online but you clearly have like two blush shades this is a highlight and i don't know if this would also be a highlight or like a bronzer but as i told you it is a multifunctional palette so you can use on your eyes as well so these are the shades from the luminous palette one so this one is clearly a highlight for me this is a blush but you can also use maybe a, as a highlight a topper this is a matte blush in a matte bronzer blush color and these are the shades for the luminous palette two so this one is very a highlight this is a matte blush this also is a matte blush a red and a orange and this could be a highlight or like a shiny bronzer okay i'm gonna start with this shade here and i'm gonna use it as a bronzer it's not super cool or super warm so you can use as bronzer or contour depending on how you apply for blush i'm gonna use the orange one because the eye look is gonna be green and I really like how green and orange look and I'm just gonna get a little bit because this is very pigmented probably for darker um, skin tone than mine so I'm gonna be very careful with this yeah this is very 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 pigmented now for highlighter I'm gonna use this shade here You want glitter, you want glow, you get glow with this highlight. Really pretty. Now, I got this product. It's a three-in-one um, brow product. And it has a pencil, a gel, and kind of like a shadow. So here's the product. Right here, we have the pencil. It's like in, in a triangle shape. Here we have the little gel and right here in the middle we have a little brush and the powder is right here. So let's do it. I'm gonna use the pencil on the other brow. Um, okay, as you can see, the pencil is very powerful. I'm gonna use a little bit of the pencil on the side so it looks the same. I did not know it was gonna be that big of a difference. 
Now let's try the gel. The gel doesn't have any color and I like that it's very small, this bully, but I was a little bit heavy handed with the pencil so my eyebrows are a little crazy. We're gonna pretend they don't exist. Now let's do the eyes. This is the eyeshadow, it's the green. Uh, she has many um, color palettes. There's a pink, a purple, and an orange, and this is the fourth one, the green. The packaging is like this, all green. And here are the shadows. They are all green as well, and there is a little brown here. The brown is a little too dark for my taste, so I'm gonna use the Anastasia palette. I'm gonna use the Dusty Rose shade just on my crease as a transition color. I prefer styling a little bit lighter and then go darker. I am going to use this green shadow here on my outer corner. Now I'm gonna use the darker brown on the outside of the outer corner. Now I'm gonna swatch all these four shimmery shadows so I can see which one would look better. Here are the shadows. I think I'm gonna use this one and this one. I'm gonna use the darker one closer to where the dark green is with my finger. In the inner corner, I'm gonna use this shadow here. On the bottom lashes, I'm gonna use this shadow here. And I'm gonna use the beige shade here from Anastasia to blend it out the green. I also got a glitter eyeliner, but I don't think I can use with this eye look but I'm gonna show to you guys. Here is the eyeliner. It's more like a golden pinkish red color. It's right here on my finger. I don't know if it would look good with this eye look. Maybe a little bit in the inner corner. Let's, let's just try. It's okay. I also got a mascara. This is the Super Bold, it's the second mascara that she made. And I've seen a lot of people saying good things about this mascara. This is the packaging, very pretty pink. Let's try it. This is how the wand looks. So this is how the mascara is looking. I think it looks really nice. And now we have a couple of lip products to try. Let's start with the balm. This is called Hydra Balm, 48 hours hydration. This is the packaging. And it's pink. This is more a lipstick than a lip balm. Very pigmented. The color is really pretty. Feels very hydrating on the lips, but it's not a lip balm that you can apply without like a mirror because it has a lot of pigment. Now we have the lipstick, is the Love You, and it was a special collection, comes with a ring. The packaging is very luxurious, very pretty, it's like a pink metallic, and here is the ring. And this is the shade of the lipstick. Very, very pretty. It is a cream lipstick, so it's not gonna be bad. So you can see a little bit of a shine going through. 
it's very very creamy when you apply the shades very pretty it's very like woman you know what i mean looks very very pretty i also have a lip gloss this is the luminous bronze gloss it looks like this with some orange glitter and i'm gonna use it on top of the lipstick see how it looks look very shiny it has like a cooling sensation and looks very pretty very glassy now i also got a lip oil this is the lip oil shine flowers i got in the shade pink and the packaging looks like this it's like pinky orange took off my lipstick to use the lip oil see how it looks this is the applicator it's very pretty very shiny it's the most liquid and fine lip oil that i have most of my lip oils are a little bit more thick in consistency smells really good tastes like strawberry i think but this is the lip oil doesn't have a lot of color i also got a blush forgot that i got this blush it's like a marble blush and i'm gonna use a little bit on the top of the other blush this is the packaging it's very pretty pink and gold i have another blush like this but in a different shade this is more a pinky lighter shade the other one that i have is picking an orange here is the shade very very pretty now you can use this as a blush or a blush topper if you want to give a little bit more glow so i'm going to use a little bit just to see how it looks it's a very pretty pink blush it's not super dark you know it's more light blush and it just have a more glow to it looks very very nice another thing that i forgot <laughs> that i bought was the brushes i should have used the brushes to do the makeup but i forgot so i got a set of eye brushes so we have a liner a small blending a packing brush and then two blending brushes but bigger than the other and i also got this one she calls multifunctional you can use for everything that your heart desire you can use for blush highlighter contour powder it looks like this is a very fluffy brush and it's pink and gold just like the whole makeup collection last but not least is this product here it's a highlighter for your face and body the packaging is like this it's a squeezing tube like for lotion i like the uh, pink and then it goes like clear and you can see the color of the highlighter this is how it looks i'm gonna use just a little bit on my face see how it would look I bet you can mix this with foundation or use before foundation to give a very glow on your face and as a highlighter it's kind of hard to see because the blush and the highlighter was already very glowy but looks nice well guys that's it for today's video this is how the makeup is looking very pretty very fresh although the eyes is kind of like green and it's, it's like a color it doesn't feel like colorful it feels like more neutral and i really like how the lip oil goes with the eyes and the blush everything looks very good together if you like this video give a thumbs up let me know in the comments below if you guys want to see more other brands from brazil if you're not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe me in the absolute world to me and hit that bell button so you can get a notification of my future uploads a big kiss and i see y'all in my next video